doing a short hike, quick hike. Uh, it's called a Rick's Creek Waterfall. Um, this is up in Ford Canyon in Centerville, Utah. This is uh, the last week of uh, March here, or not March, uh, February. And beautiful day, uh, almost high, high 50s temperatures, snow in the mountains, but it feels great in the valley. So we're like, let's get out, do a quick little hike. Got my pal, Sarah. Your pal? <laughs> my pal, beautiful wife, Sarah. And then, so if you look on all trails, the, the place for this hike starts way down there and it's overgrown, kind of sucks to hike up. But this is the easiest and shortest path. Um, I'll have a map of this in the video, uh, like where to park. So these cars are in the know. So this is the fastest and direct path to this waterfall. It's probably like a five minute hike from here, but kind of steep at the beginning, but it's not too bad at all. Yeah, you can see the old uh, channel up here. They would divert water from the waterfall area and have it diverted right here. Like a like an aqueduct or aqueduct. Yeah, they're kind of just all over the foothills. Back in I think 2013 or 2012, uh, my friend and I. Well, actually, I just I don't know discovered it, but. Um, I was just driving my truck one day after work up in the foothills up here. And I was like, whoa, there's a waterfall up here. And so contacted a few friends and we uh, hooked up our uh, repelling equipment and built some anchors up here. And we actually repelled the waterfall. So if you Google uh, Jeff Guests uh, and Rick's Creek Waterfall, that's our video uh, that we made many years ago. So that's the normal path you take the all trails path we just bypass all of that and go to the best parts yeah so we were repelled down that it was actually pretty fun a little uh, gorge so you can take this path and go up Ford Canyon quite a bit higher. Um, I've actually never done it, gone up higher, so I can't tell you what's up there. But you just hike down over here. It's kind of sketchy on this side, so this is where it becomes not family friendly. The thing is that this dirt just loose, and it's definitely a drop off. You can see the waterfall just right here and have at the base how there's a bunch of snow accumulation it's kind of cool we'll go down there and check it out but, but hey if you trust your kids from what i'm showing you then good luck but i don't think it's all too bad but just some tricky spots and sarah's woozy from being sick she said But yeah, look at that. And in the summertime, this tree has the, the foliage, all this leaves, right? And it's, it's beautiful. It, it's a great little uh, picturesque waterfall. I know, it's cool. <clears throat> Just kind of step down. You don't have to follow our exact path. Whatever obviously looks good to you. You did it. Good job. You can hear it. Now I don't recommend this, of course. But you could definitely 
slip and possibly even fall in. I'm gonna hang the GoPro over and take a look. How did it feel? It feel so cold. So cold. How did you do with the fire? Yeah, as the water hits the ice, it's making it even colder. Yeah. Making it like what, 33 degrees or something? <clears throat> but you can see in the, in the spring or summertime yeah. how the trees will be out, the colors, the green. Oh yeah. And it'll be pretty right here little puppies and doggies yeah. little Clark mm -hmm. would love to go underneath this waterfall and cool down and that's about it though short and sweet Woo. good toss good job <laughs> beautiful place But if you were super uh, motivated, you could probably hike this from car back to car in 15 minutes. Yeah, let's go up that path to your left, rather than the path that we came down. Let's see what that path's like. Yeah, straight ahead, yeah. Yeah. So far, it's easier. I'm sick. Oh. Of life? No, the virus. Which virus? Coronavirus. The coronavirus? But that's it, short and sweet. It took us about 15 minutes. What'd you think of that, Sarah? Pretty? Yeah, very beautiful. Is it a, a repeatable adventure? Yeah. I think Emma and Liam could do it. Kids like it. Little Clark, too. Yeah. When we get him eventually. Yeah, Puppy Clark. This is a good Puppy Clark. Puppy, puppy Clark trail, yeah. And look at the awesome views, too. There's no inversion or smog really anywhere. I guess it's starting starting to uh, build up a little bit, but right now you can see probably 50 miles. Okay, back of the cars, and that's it from us. Uh, Rick Creeks Waterfall in Centerville, Utah.